Chuck Norris. Mufasa. Barney the Dinosaur. See, these names simply exude strength, power, and an overgrown reptile that brings joy to children of all ages. What I'm trying to get to is names carry meaning. Have you ever wondered why you're given the name you're given? What does that actually mean? I know I have. And since neither Google nor Bing recognize my middle name as a word in any language, <laughs> I asked one person who would know the story behind my name and what it means. This was my mother. You see, growing up, I have a lot of aunts and uncles. They come by, Bia, Bia, Grandpa, Grandpa. I'm not your grandfather. Why are you call me Grandpa? I don't understand at all. And so I told my mom, tell me a little about it. And she told me who Bia was and what's the story behind my name. See, my grandfather was the devil of his village back in Liberia. This sounds bad, being a devil, you know, hell, you know, scared. Actually, it was actually the second highest position you can have in the village next to the chief. Because of a secret society of men who, like, when they came to town, people had to close the doors because they did certain rituals and stuff like that. I don't really know the whole story behind that. That's just has the point. He was strong, cunning, smart. He hunted for the village. He was there during the base. He acted as a lord for the people in the town. He's just a great man overall. I want to, you know, five. And I asked my mom, what does my name beyond me? Where did I get it from? And she told me there's actually a cool, cool story behind it. You see, my grandfather, she told me, he died in May of 1992. I said, oh, I was born in May 31st, 1992. She was like, yes, this is the cool part comes in. Your grandfather died shortly before you were born. However, when you we were born, I felt no pain. See, this is amazing because the people back home in the village in Liberia believe that before my grandfather passed to the other world, he came to his daughter in need while she was giving birth and healed her and soothed her pain. And as he touched me, a little bit of him dripped out on me a little bit. And he said, <laughs> I know it sounds kind of weird. And they say I look just like my grandfather. <coughs> so I look just like him with the same mannerisms, okay, the same qualities. And we're both funny as hell. <laughs> so I encourage you all to go to your family or your name giver, whoever it is, ask them a story about how you name it if you already have it. Because if you're anything like me, you'd be enriched by a family story and the, family, and the history of your family that will make you want to do better in life. And just be cool to tell the folks in the public speaking class.